Pontically. Now, God's word was what the science called the Big Bang. And it sounded like the roaring water wave. It unifies this the way accounts. Which says that, number one, if they were independent, then they're expressing, expressing the features of the truth. Like the answer to one plus two. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter how many people are responding to that. If they're given the correct answer, saying the truth, the answer will be the same. Therefore, if this were independent, they're speaking the same language. Therefore, that shows the essence of the truth. But if they're not independent, because we know this one predates this two by at least 20,000 years. So it's possible that there was consultation from here to here. So in each case, they express the truth. And that God did this by mathematically finding out that the three accounts have one common denominator. What is that? Waves. Waves. And that waves comes from the solution that I, I was a little ahead of myself putting it out there. The very first solution to Gagot's equation is waves. The very first solution. Independent mathematical method demonstrates that the universe first started as waves, which can now be interpreted as the spirit. That's what the brothers talk about. Waves is a mathematical depiction of what we call spirit. Check. Check. Yeah. That's it right here. It's the very first one. It's the very first. N equals zero is the very first. It comes before everything else. So, so, and how did Dagger do this? Well, God got, again, you're going to listen to everything that is said about this here. So not only does it make sense geometrically, that is mathematically, but from almost every dimension that you look at it. Provided that it is about righteousness, provided it's about the truth, so, but, so, provided that it's about rationality, you will have a confirmation. That's why they call it the theory of everything. It doesn't matter what angle you look at it. You can interpret it in every way possible. Every way, in other words, God has to be talked in every language. We can talk, that's why I'm able to communicate with you. I can discuss Gagot in every language <laughs> because of the theory of everything. It didn't say, oh, yeah, this is written. No, it's every language. Therefore, whatever dimension you tune yourself, you will be able to you know, see Gagot there. So, this is, so therefore, when n is equal to zero, is where it all began, which is waves called spirit. And so, if you could visualize the entire spectrum of that, waves, you can detect every aspect of the entire universe. And that the concentration of that waves is what you call matter. Matter becomes the concentration of the wave field that, you know, that was what was at the beginning. Therefore, the wave is the more superior part of the universe. Is the beginning. Is the spirit. Is the almighty God. The wave is number one. And when you get n equal one, you reproduce the motions of the particles, you know, the quantum, I mean, the, uh, the concentrations, like the, 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 the planets. And that is the realm of relativity. Relativity has n equal one. So Albert Einstein's work is n equals one for all practical purposes. So you pick one, you reproduce relativity. That's it. Ah. <laughs> Tiny. That's, tiny. That's what we're sitting on. And I wish I was in that direction. Wow. I wish I was. Wow. That's all there is. To... If I give you, if I give you the secrets of relativity, oh, you'll be you'll be just you'll be amazed. You'll be talking.
thoroughly amazed. We go inside our water science mind. And uh, uh, Lawrence, uh, Henry uh, Lawrence, is mine. And tell you through dagger what they were thinking. Mm. Mm. Woo. That's what we're talking about. Mm. 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 The Harvard professors are going to be shocked. That's why they have that book in the highest places in Harvard. <laughs> the wall back libraries where they hide the Gaga book. That's one of the reasons I ask you scrap money to get this book. You've got to be in that book. Harvard does not put it in some careless place so it can be stolen. Harvard puts it in the wall back library. In Stanford, you couldn't even find out about the availability of Gaga book. Right? Yes, you couldn't find out. You will know that they have two of them, but to tell you where if they're available to be borrowed, they said, no, you've got to be a staff of the slack, as they said. <laughs> staff of the linear accelerator center. That's where bombs are concealed. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bomb. <laughs> That's where the bombs are concealed. That's where the bombs are concealed. If that's not enough, guess who is marketing other books in Europe? I'll give you a hint. That, well, this, this entity, this, <laughs> this entity started to do <laughs> That's not fair, brother. <laughs> okay? Third Reich. Guess who is marketing the Gaga book in Europe? That's what they just showed you. The same one that started the first two first world wars. The German, not just the German, but the German Federal Armed Forces. Wow. Did I show you the material, brother? Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. So when I say get a book, it sounds, you know, critics was over here, well, you want to put money on Every money that's got in here is going to build a home for the district. For our children. So That's right. Just let me just say this as well. Right. To get permission to get into Slack, you have to go to Germany to get permission. Amen. Amen. You get to Stanford. Amen. Amen. Really? Yes. Wow. Wow. That's, right. That's what this book is about. Uh, See, the white people know how important it is. We don't know what we got. But usually, again, uh, we just be <laughs> to. And you know how you deal with that? You deal with it the way your ancestors dealt with it. See, the, the whole, I, I don't have a lot of time, but you know, there's so much dimensions so of this thing. And listen, what he just told you makes a whole lot of sense in the sense that the African philosophy Come on. is such that you are supposed to respect the elder. Why do you respect the elder? Because, you know, it's a bigger guy? No, not necessarily. It's more than that. You respect the elder because your wisdom is experience. As especially as a, as a, black, as a black, melanin person, you already blessed with a high cranial capacity. That's already a given. That's already a given blessing coming to this world. Way. But the cranial capacity by itself does not do it. Does not get, does, it not, does not turn into automatic wisdom. Wisdom comes from Experience. Experience. And so the one that came into the world one second, that's all it takes, one second before you, had a snapshot of the world called experience before you. You will never, ever get that experience except through the eyes of that elder. Disrespect them because master asks you to do so. <laughs> master takes respect out of the black elder because he doesn't have money to buy you. That's right. Things. So therefore, disrespect him or her. Right? That's right. Be dead wrong. That's what the stuff you're buying, you don't need most of it in the first place. You don't need the Nike shoes. <laughs> so you don't go disrespecting your elder for that. Because the wisdom 
is far superior to the Nike shoes. And even when the elder is such a, at a disadvantage, he's still the elder, she's still the elder. Without how you talk, like most of us won't be doing much. That's an elder. That's an elder wisdom. They're my busy, not turner. Maurice Bishop. Maurice Bishop reminds me of my father. 